Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria, and if you're new here, hi and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating how I crochet this monkey hat. It has ear flaps, and this is for the one to two year size. If you're interested, stick around. To begin, I use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and I am using number four medium weight yarn. This is the color Espresso. Make a slip knot, chain three, make a magic circle with your tail, and then we are going to do 10 cluster stitches in this magic circle. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, insert into the magic circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That is our first stitch. So we are going to do a total of 11 of those. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last three. Okay, and we are going to continue that until we have 11 cluster stitches total. Okay, and there is the 10th one, and um, sorry that I said 11, I am actually doing 10 because I am doing the one to two year hat size. And then pull your tail tight to close your circle, and then in the top of our chain three, we are going to slip stitch and chain three. Now for row number two, we are going to do two cluster stitches into each stitch around, and that will be a total of 20 stitches. Okay, we are going to slip stitch to the first, chain three. We are going to do two cluster stitches in the first stitch, and then one cluster stitch in the next, and then two cluster stitches in the next stitch, and then one cluster stitch in the next. I'm gonna pause the video here and I will meet you back here once I am done with this row. Slip stitch to the first, chain three. Do two cluster stitches in the first stitch, and then one cluster stitch in the next two stitches. And then two cluster stitches in the next stitch. And then one cluster stitch in the next two stitches. I'll meet you guys back here when I'm done with this row. 
slip stitch into the top of our first stitch. Chain three. We are going to do one cluster stitch into each stitch around. We are going to do this for a total of 10 rows. I'm gonna meet you guys back here when I am done with my 10 rows and then we will begin on our ear flaps. And then after that, we will do all of our accessories and start making this look like a monkey. So I will meet you guys back here once I am done with this. Okay, so we will slip stitch into our first cluster stitch of the last row. We will chain one. In the first stitch, we will do two single crochets. In the next stitch, we will do one single crochet. And we're gonna do this a total of four or three times. So two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next, and then two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next. Then we will chain one, turn our work. We are going to do a single crochet decrease. So insert your crochet hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then we'll do one single crochet in the remaining stitches of that row. We will chain one, turn our work. We will do a single crochet decrease in the first stitch, and then one single crochet into the, each of the remaining stitches. Chain one, turn, single crochet decrease in the first two stitches, and then one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches. We are going to continue this pattern until we meet the very tip of our first ear flap. Okay, and then I have two stitches remaining. So we are going to just do single crochet decrease and then chain one. We are going to cut our yarn and you do not need a long tail because we will crochet right over top of that tail. Now if you look at your hat, there are lines here for, right here for our slip stitch and our chain. So this here indicates that since it comes up to the ear flap here, this is the back of the hat. And then over here will be the front of the hat. So counting off of this ear flap in the next stitch, we are going to count 14 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And in that 14th stitch, insert your crochet hook, bring up the yarn and attach it by a slip stitch. And then we will do a chain one and single crochet into that same stitch. And that chain one is actually going to count as our first single crochet into that stitch. So as of right now, that was our two single crochets into the same stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the next, one single crochet in the next, two single crochets in the next, and then one single crochet. And then we are going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to complete the same um, thing that we did for the last ear flap, same exact thing, so I'm not gonna walk you guys through this entire ear flap because it is the same exact thing. So I will meet you back here when I reach the tip of this ear flap. Okay, so I just finished my last single crochet two together. I am not gonna do a chain one. 
So what I'm going to do is cut the same length because I am changing to a tan color and this um, color is um, actually called lace. And I am going to bring that in here and then I'm going to do my chain one in that color. So what we're gonna do here is we will do two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next, and we are going to do this all the way around the border of this hat. And there is what the first part looks like. And I'm going to do three single crochets into the top and then back down to the other side I will do two single crochets and then one single crochet so continue the same pattern down the other side. And again, I'm gonna do three at the top of this ear flap as well. And then I will slip stitch and cut our yarn, leaving a tail because we will be sewing this one in. Pull that through, I weave it to the back. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now we are going to be moving on to the face. Now changing to a four millimeter crochet hook and with our tan yarn, we are going to do a chain 24 and we want our chain to be loose. And then in the second chain from our hook, we are going to do one half double crochet, and we're gonna do one half double crochet into each of the remaining stitches. We're going to chain one, turn our hook, or I'm sorry, turn our work, work, and then we are going to do one half double crochet into each stitch. And we're gonna do this on rows two through four. So I'm going to pause the video and I will come back here once I am done. And then we will chain one, turn our work, and for row number five, we are going to do a half double crochet in the first stitch and then we are going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches. So one double crochet, second double crochet, 
third double crochet and then we are going to do a triple crochet in the next and then we will do three triple crochets in the next stitch so all three in the same stitch so one two three and then in the next stitch we are going to do a triple crochet and then a double crochet in the next three stitches so one two three then a half double crochet in the next stitch a single crochet in the next stitch a half double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next three stitches so one two three a triple crochet in the next stitch three triple crochets into the same stitch one two three a triple crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next three stitches one two three and then a half double crochet in the last stitch chain one turn our work we are going to do a half double crochet two together yarn over insert your stitch into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over insert into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through all the loops on the hook that is how you do a half double crochet two together and then we are going to do one double crochet in the next four stitches so one two three and four and then we are going to do three double crochets into the same stitch one two three one double crochet in the next three stitches one two three one single crochet in the next five stitches one two three four five half double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next three stitches one, two, three. Three double crochets into the same stitch. Oops. Double crochet, not a triple. One, two, three. One double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then a half double crochet, one half double crochet, and then half double crochet two together. Oops. Chain one, turn our work. We are going to do a half double crochet two together. And then one half double crochet in the next 11 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then a single crochet in the next stitch, a slip stitch in the next stitch, a single crochet in the next stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next 11 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11 
and then a half double crochet two together. And now, that is done. And at this point, just put it to your hat and make sure that it will fit on your hat. And mine looks great. And now I am just going to, in the next stitch here, I'm going to just do a single crochet into each stitch around. And I'm going to stop over here. Uh, there's no need to go over the top again. Um, and then in the corner, I will do two single crochets in my corner stitch to make it a nice edge, or a nice turn I should say. Again, two single crochets in that corner stitch. Okay, and then slip stitch in here. Cut a long piece of yarn because we will use this to sew it onto our hat. So there it is so far. Now we're going to move on to doing, let's do the ears. So going back to our five millimeter crochet hook and we will first do our dark brown and we are going to do a slip stitch, chain two. make a magic circle and we're going to do seven double crochets in this magic circle so one two three four five six seven we will pull that tight. We will chain two, turn our work, and we are going to do two double crochets into each stitch. So one, two, three, four, And then chain two, we are going to do two double crochets into the first stitch. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. There is the ear. A uh, chain one, fasten off, or I'm sorry, chain one, and then we are going to cut the yarn. 
leaving a long enough tail to sew this on. If you want the ear to be larger, just continue going. Um, from this point on, you would do a chain two, turn your work, and then just do one double crochet into each stitch around. Um, but for the one to two year, this is a large enough ear. And then, now we are going to go with uh, the tan yarn, and this is going to be for the inner ear. So we are going to do a slip stitch, chain two, make a magic circle. We will do seven half double crochet, or I'm sorry, seven double crochets in the magic circle. One. We will chain two, turn our work, do two double crochets into each stitch. Okay. And there is the inner ear. Now chain one and cut this. We want a long enough tail to be able to sew this onto the other ear. Okay, and then off camera, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other ear. Now let's go to doing the eyes and the nose. I gotta go grab black yarn. I will be right back. Back to our 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. I am going to slip stitch. I'm going to chain one. I'm gonna make a magic circle and I'm going to do 10 single crochets into the magic circle. I'm going to pull that tight and then I am going to do two single crochets into each stitch around, making 20 single crochets total. And then slip stitch to our first. Leave a long tail for sewing it on. And there is one eye. Okay, and now for the nose, and obviously um, off uh, do a second eye, but for the nose, we are going to chain one, make a magic circle, and we are going to do 12 half double crochets into this circle. So one, Pull that tight, slip stitch to our first, leave a long tail for sewing it on. So we'll begin with our ears. Um, I use my yarn needle and first going to attach the tan yarn or tan ear to the brown ear. So I just place it right on top, push my needle into the yarn going through the bottom of the brown and 
just continuing this all the way around. Okay, and then I poke it out of the bottom on the side there. And then now I am going to whip stitch along this side, connecting the ears together. And then I go down and bring this back up. And there is the ear. Okay, and then here is the hat. And I'm going to add this one over here. So I put it in line with that bottom piece. Okay, now just fasten it off. And the way that I do this is try to make it centered between the two ear flaps and then I flip it upside down like this and I'm going to sew along here in the bottom and then that makes it easier to align the top.
Okay, so I got that all done. Now I do the nose next. And I do the nose next, that way I can center it and then I go off of the eyes from that. So here is, here is our nose piece. And when I lay the nose piece down, I kind of scrunch it like this to make it go like more at an oval shape. And then I line this up with the tip, but also the top of the hat. Okay, as easy as that. And then the eyes place on here and um, I'm still debating if I'm gonna add the white to the eyes and I think I'm going to. And I usually would do it beforehand but it's not that big of a deal to do it afterwards. Okay, so then again. Okay, and then I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. So here is my monkey hat. Now I'm going to take all three of my colors of yarn and I'm going to lay them out and I'm going to cut strands that are approximately uh, three feet long. And I'm going to do this a total of four times for one of the ear flaps. Okay, and then grab the center of them. And then we want the other side to be even. And then what we're gonna do is take our crochet hook and put it into the hole of the hat, making sure that it goes in where your the tip of your crochet hat is on the wrong side. And then you will grab a hold of the yarn and pull it through. And then pull that through, making a knot. And then I do one more knot. And then you will separate your colors. and then pull them tight and braid. and then you will make a knot. However, do not make it tight until you do the other side to make sure that they are even and then tighten them at the same time. So I have braided 
the other side. Now I put the two braids together and then make sure that they are even. Okay, and then once they are even with the extra, just take your scissors and cut them all so that they are the same length. And then the last detail that I am going to do is I'm gonna add some white to the eyes. So I just have a little bit of white yarn here. And I would usually do this to the eyes before I sew them on. However, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this or not, but I have decided that um, I do want to. So from going through the bottom of the hat, I'm gonna come up about right there and then bring it over and let's see what this looks like. Yes, I think that that just adds so much character to the hat. Okay, and then I will sew that in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to this other side. Come up through the bottom. And you can put this wherever you want to on your hat. Actually, I think I want the eye to go this way. There we go. Now he doesn't look cross-eyed. <laughs> okay, um, I am just going to sew those in. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!